Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Climb Kodiak Pants, available at Revzilla.com. So if you're familiar with Climb, you know them as your ADV touring company, but their line hasn't been differentiated at all. It's been all the same line of product, and you have to kind of fine tune and pick what's right for you and your style of riding. And what we're seeing for 2017 is Climb is making it a little bit easier for riders out there to know exactly what, them get, what they're getting themselves into. And that's because they're now gonna have set lines for ADV gear, touring gear, and what they're gonna call their 626 line, which is more outdoor style wear. So what we have on High Vis Brian on the left-hand side is the Kodiak pants. And these are gonna be your top of the line touring pants from Climb. Think Badlands, but for the street. And these are gonna come in at a top of the line premium of around the $750 price point. Before we get into all the materials and breaking this down for you, what we really have to hit on is gonna be sizing. Because the sizing for the Kodiak pants is gonna be a completely new option from Climb. These are gonna be Euro fit, Euro cut, and Euro size. And that's gonna be a big differentiation from what we've seen from Climb in the past. Sizes for these pants range from a 48 up to a 58, and that is about the same between a 30 and a 36 of what we've seen from Climb in the past. So it's a much smaller range, but within that smaller range, it is a much more defined, articulated scope of what's going to fit you. So just keep that in mind. If you are, you know, you know that you're a 38 or a 40 in Climb in previous versions of other pants, these are not gonna work for you. Now, in addition to that Euro sizing, you're also gonna have D options and T options. D is gonna be a little bit shorter, about an inch and a half shorter in length, and about an extra inch and a half in the waist. And then for the T options, the tall options, you're gonna get the same size waist, but you're gonna have about an extra additional inch and a half to two inches in the length of the pants. So if you are confused about this, if you have questions about this, make sure to refer, make sure to, refer to the size chart that's on the Kodiak page. And if you have additional questions, just reach out to one of our gear geeks. They're there to help you with sizing to make sure that you get the right fit. The biggest takeaway here is to just take actual measurements. Hive is Brian on my left hand side has a 35.5 inch waist, 32 inch inseam, six foot, 195 pounds. We have them in a size 52. We use the size chart. And these are gonna fit them spot on. And you can see this is gonna be a much slimmer fit than what we've seen from Climb in the past. If you're looking at the Badlands pants, much boxier cut, a lot more room, not nearly as tapered as what we're seeing with the Kodiak. These are gonna be a much more tapered European fit. And there's a lot of riders out there that have steered away from Climb in the past because that's what they're looking for. So what Climb is doing is they're saying, hey, we now have an option for you if you are looking for that more Euro fit. Colors available for this, gonna be the black option only, and it will match up perfectly with the Kodiak jacket. Now, like I said, this is around that $750 price point, so this is gonna be the top of the line in the food chain from Climb, and a lot of the DNA that's carried through here is going to be straight from the Badlands pants. So let's go ahead and we'll break that down right now. The main body in this is gonna be the Gore-Tex Pro shell. That's a three-layer Gore-Tex shell, and it is definitely gonna be the top of the line as far as just the construction is concerned from a beefed up standpoint. Now what we've seen change is they've gotten rid of the super fabric at the knees and you now have full leather gore overlays at the knees and you can see that that's gonna be perforated leather and that's not perforated to allow air through but it's perforated to allow that Gore-Tex to breathe. So it's more about letting the moisture escape than allowing air to pass through. So we've seen some of the materials change to make this more of that touring style piece for the touring rider. Keep in mind, a Badlands pair of pants, you're designed to crash four or five times at low speeds when you're out there riding around off-road. Kodiak pants, it's really designed for that one high speed crash. Maybe you're rolling down the highway at 70 miles an hour, you have a tumble, that's what this is gonna be geared for. So starting at the waist and just working our way down the pant, you're gonna have a two snap closure at the waist on this. It is gonna be covered. And the one thing you'll note is it is gonna be a water resistant YKK zip. Uh, that's probably my biggest nitpick with this. I find that this zipper tends to uh, snag up on me a little bit if I'm trying to get it up and down quickly. You know, if you are in more of that tuck position or you're in that seated position for a longer period of time, sometimes it takes a little bit of work to get that zipper up and down. Excuse me there, Hot Vis Brian, as I close your, uh, your, your snap for you. As we work our way down, the other thing you'll notice is a differentiation point from the Badlands is that now the vents that we're gonna see on the thighs, 
they're a little bit shorter. They don't go all the way up to the, uh, to the inside of the hip the way we saw. So you have a little bit of a different vent scheme to this. And the pockets are still going to be a waterproof pocket. And you have that water resistant YKK zip below this. The one thing you'll note with this is the way these pockets are set up, because it is such a tapered slim fit, you're gonna have to take your gloves off before you can really access or utilize these pockets. Um, and you're probably gonna have to kind of lean down a little bit so there's not as much pressure put in the pocket. If you're in the seated position, there's gonna be a lot of tension on this pocket. So just keep that in mind, you're gonna be off the, off the bike, probably gloves off before you can reach into whatever is in these pockets. So you can just keep that in mind. Like I mentioned, as we work our way down, you do have that leather overlay. It's that gore leather over the knee, which replaces all the super fabric. And below this, you're gonna have T5 Evo XT Pro armor from D3O. This is gonna be a CE level two armor. The one thing to note here, it's not height adjustable. Because you have your different options of choosing either a D height or a T height, that, that shorter or that taller height, you're not gonna have knee adjustments in the armor. Make sure when you're trying these on, you want the armor to sit just at or slightly below your knee when you're in the standing position. And then when you go out to the garage, you sit on your motorcycle, you're trying out your new pair of pants. When you're in the seated position on the bike, that knee armor should sit right over top of your knee in the seated position. You notice as we work our way down, again, very slim tapered look, very slim tapered fit. He, we are wearing these over there, or Brian rather is wearing these over the CD adventure boots, which is a little bit more of a slimline adventure boot, but this is gonna be maxed out all the way. And actually, Brian, go ahead and face sideways for me and kick that, uh, kick that left foot back. You can see there's three different positions of a snap adjuster with this. And the zip on the back is gonna be about a nine, about a nine inch zip to, for the opening. So we had this on the very last snap position. So if you're wearing this, or if you're planning on wearing this rather over anything beefier than you know, an adventure boot, you probably have to go inside the boot. This is really designed for more of a slimmer touring style boot to match up with those pants. It is a water resistant YKK zip on the back. The other thing you'll notice is different here over the Badlands pants. You do have an adjuster at the top of the calf to fine tune how this fits. And what I like about this is it works to hold the armor in place. So if you are in a crash, that armor is not gonna flex and move on you. What you are gonna lose is that the Badlands has another adjuster at the top. You're not gonna have that. And it actually works out okay with this because of how slim and tapered the fit is. It's not as large moving down and more that stove, that stove pipe design the way we saw the Badlands. The Badlands, you needed that extra adjuster. You don't need it as much with these, so they've eliminated it. Now, if we start with the top on this, Velcro adjuster at the waist, and then just working its way down, you do have that same T5 Evo XT Pro armor from D3O at the hip. You're gonna have that popper reflectivity, which works its way on a diagonal slant all the way down over top of the pocket and around to the front. And it's gonna, again, carry down to that slim tapered look throughout the leg of the pan. Brian, go ahead and face backwards for me. Move some of this high visibility out of the way. The one thing you'll note at the top is that there's elastication behind the Velcro adjusters. And this is gonna be perfect for you riders out there that while these are a touring pant, maybe you're in more of a sport touring seating position. Maybe you're on FJR or a VFR and you're a little more tucked over. The elastication here is gonna help with that range of motion. You'll also notice that there's gonna be the armor core across the entire seat with that dual safety stitching. And this is that impact zone where maybe you're hitting the ground at 60 miles an hour, you're sliding across the macadam on your butt. This is gonna be there to keep you safe and make sure you're not gonna wear through those pants if you do have that impact at speed. In addition to the armor core, you are gonna have that Poron XRD Cossacks protection just for a little bit of extra padding to keep your tailbone safe. Now, if we move to above that, you will see there is a connection zipper and that's gonna be for that matching Kodiak jacket that we were talking about. And keep in mind, if you're watching this, you're digging the pants and you're thinking, well, maybe I'm gonna get the jacket too. There is a full detailed breakdown video on the jacket, so make sure to check that out. We break that one down and show you all the different nuances that you can expect with the matching piece. Now that reflectivity is gonna work its way down over top of that pocket, and then you're gonna see really what we're looking at in the back is the addition of the exhaust vents. So all that air pushing through from the front has a place to go. I have a very similar vent scheme on my, uh, my Latitude pants, and I will say that it works quite nicely to maximize airflow in the warmer months of the year. Wrapping up as we work our way down the leg, you will see pops of reflectivity at the back of the calf just to maximize your visibility. Brian, let me go ahead and face forward for my friend. So again, the real big takeaway here is that now Climb has differentiated their line. You have a set touring option with a much more European fit. If you know that you're a larger rider, this is not gonna be the option for you. But if you are someone that says, hey, you know what? I've steered away from Climb in the past. 
because I didn't like the way that they fit me. I wanted something more Euro, a little more slimming. You now get all the protection of climb in a fit that's gonna be much more of that slim line that maybe you were looking for in the past. Now there's a lot of riders out there that have utilized climb gear on their rides and if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there using climb products. And if you have more questions for one of our gear geeks as far as sizing or what pair of pants are right for you and your motorcycle, give them a shout at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Climb Kodiak Pants. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.